Hi friends, welcome to another First Look. Today I have something very, very special for you. Uh, I have never been this impressed with a new gun maybe in my life, and I'm not kidding on that one. Chances are good by now, if you've seen the March issue 2023 of American Handgunner, you have seen this Rock Island Armory 5.0 pistol. Well, I have one. Well, let's cut right to the chase here. Here it is. Now, this is serial number two of 300. And I wouldn't really call this a pre-production prototype uh, so much as a first production run. They're doing an initial run of 300 uh, with red dot optics on it. We need to talk about this because this is an entirely new idea in semi-auto pistols. Now we're familiar with Rock Island uh, and Arms Corps firearms as being sort of, you know, we're a workmanlike, functional, uh, affordable, uh, get the job done kind of guns. And this is so new and so different from them. And it's also made completely here in the United States. And to let you know just how interesting it is, notice it has a square barrel, round rifling and all that. Then this square barrel rides in a square channel in the slide. And the barrel doesn't drop like a classic Browning swinging link uh, or tilting barrel design. Now the gun only has two controls on it, uh, three if you count the trigger. It's got the uh, slide release and the magazine release in the uh, areas that you would expect them to be. It's got the best trigger I've ever felt on a semi-auto pistol. And frankly, this feels as good as one on a highly tuned 1911. Well, this test gun trigger drops a sear at two pounds, four ounces. There's a little bit of take up, a very crisp break, and then a tiny bit of over travel. And the reset is short and it's really secure. It goes click and you can feel it. The amazing thing about this trigger, I think, is the fact that it broke at two pounds, four ounces every single time using an electronic gauge. Most triggers will be 2.2, 2.8, you know, 3, 1.9. No, this is exactly the same every single time. I was amazed. Now the gun itself is steel and aluminum and it's got a polymer sort of frame insert here. What I like about this is the fact that all the bits that have to do with operation of the gun are metal, but the parts that come in contact with your hand are polymer. It fits very well, a, a bit browning high power-ish, which I think is almost universally loved by every handgun shooter out there. Uh, it's got a nice uh, kind of grabby texture, but not so grabby that it would wear you out after uh, you know a thousand rounds in a class or a weekend of competition shooting. It's not a light gun. It's pretty muzzle heavy, and it weighs about 34 ounces. Now this limited run introduction gun is gonna come with a red dot sight, uh, later on, production guns will be available with iron sights, like the ones that are in the uh, article in the magazine. Another interesting thing about this is this is not a striker-fired gun. It actually has a hammer. It's a, a real strange-looking sort of flap inside. It's light, and it falls really fast. And I think that's what gives it the ability to have that really crisp trigger pull. Uh, you're not dealing with that spongy release that so many striker-fired guns have. Now, one of the things that really makes this stand out from the crowd is there's something called a ram valve locking system, which sounds like it's gas, but it's not. It's a mechanical system. It's like a, a you know, it's actuated linearly in there. And what it does is when you fire the gun, it locks the slide and barrel together. But as the pressure lowers, it releases the slide and allows the momentum uh, of the gas expansion to run the gun for the next shot. It's very fast. It's very smooth, it's very controllable, and the fact that this axis is so low to your hand makes this thing just run like a little machine gun. If you have to shoot fast and flat, trust me, you can do it with this gun. You know, another thing to keep in mind about this gun is the fact that it's match ready right out of the box. This gun has modifications that people would spend thousands of dollars for other than the fact it has an all new action 
and a better trigger than anything you'll ever feel in your life. So you buy this gun, put it in your holster, and off you go. You know, when I've been shooting this, as you've seen in a little bit of the video here, I got the impression uh, that it just runs differently. It feels differently from your standard, you know, nine millimeter high capacity semi-auto pistol. I think Will Dabbs summed it up best in the article when he said, it doesn't run like a gun, it runs more like a sewing machine. And which is really the case. It just goes zip, 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 zip when you shoot it. And I don't know how else to describe that. Okay, I'm set up uh, at about 15 yards, uh, ears and eyes. I'm nothing fancy here, okay? Uh, red dot sight, it's got a pretty coarse dot, uh, so you can't get a real fine uh, sight picture, but it's good for fast work, I think. So let's see what happens here. I'm just gonna shoot casually. I think it shoots pretty good. <laughs> I, I was really just banging away. I mean, I really wasn't making any effort at all. And uh, you can see what happened here. <laughs> so a couple flyers, I'm gonna call those. Uh, but in my other shooting, this is pretty much like this group here is what you see at 25 yards. And that's using the relatively coarse uh, red dot sight. I think with a more precise dot, uh, you might even be, <laughs> do better than that. That's why I'm anxious to get the iron sight version too, because uh, I do pretty good with iron sights. And uh, I'm thinking we might even be able to beat that. Okay, we're down here at my expansive steel plate range. And uh, I'm about 10 yards away, give or take a little bit. Uh, eyes and ears, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to do kind of a mag dump here and shoot way faster than I would normally shoot, and I haven't done this yet, so we'll see what happens. Well, other than that one pulled one, you can see what I'm talking about, though. It's, it's like, it just runs like a sewing machine. And I mean, I'm no Jerry Michelik, and so I'm sure he could run this thing so fast that it would just be amazing. So, all right, let's wind this up. Well, that was fun. You can see it shoots well, it's fast, it's sure, it's accurate. It's certainly fun. 34 ounces, 17 plus one rounds. It's called the Rock Island 5.0 kind of like a 5.0 Mustang, I suppose. I'm looking forward to the iron sight version. I'm not real sure on the MSRP on this, and so I'm not gonna quote a price. Okay, friends, thanks for tuning in. If you have more questions, I recommend tracking down this issue, um, March, April, 2023, uh, American Handgunner Magazine. You can go to AmericanHandgunner.com and download a PDF version of this if you don't have the magazine. Uh, and I think that's everything. So hey, remember the four firearm safety rules, take a new shooter shooting, and uh, keep your eyes open for this gun. It's very special.